The rebel stood out to me because she is me. I am too scared that she is wrong or too much. That she will have me one day locked behind bars and ridden of. That she is repulsive and arrogant and rude and inconsiderate and defiantly not made of things sweet. But I am tired of playing by the rules of which there are too many down here. Will I go off the deep end and push all the way? After a while, they'll think we don't want to invite her. She's far too much. Put your foot in my shoe for a little while, doll. The rebel whispers to me as my throat feels slammed shut. The rebel. I close my eyes and I see her. She has mascara running down her face. She is sobbing loudly and not caring if she disturbs the neighbors. Hear me, she thinks. Dare to say something about it and you're welcome, she thinks. As she perhaps by osmosis gives the tired, kind woman next door permission to do the same. I hate being polite, she thinks I wanna be rude. I wanna add on extra rude and sass and a little fuck you because it's fun. But how wrong am I? I can hurt others. I'll hurt others, so I have her cage so her claws don't cut your delicate skin. I believed a lie about this abstract beauty within, burdensome, I thought, and I shut her down. But in holy truth, this sacred storm is the most freeing storm I know, and she can leave you unharmed if you don't try to intervene and make her about you. She isn't about you. She is neutral and a thing floating.